Welcome to another edition of AUVSI's Weekend Roundup, where we point out some stories from the week that you might have missed. I will start off. Uh, sea Machines and the DOT's Maritime Administration are going to demonstrate how autonomous technology can help make uh, oil spill response safer and more efficient. Sounds good. This week, UPS applied for Part 135 certification for commercial UAS flights in the UPS network under a new subsidiary that they recently established called UPS Flight Forward. Part 135 will lay the groundwork for UPS having one of the nation's first fully certified revenue generating drone operations. Sounds good. A company called Pierce Aerospace has teamed with Red Wing Labs from India to promote the deliveries of medical supplies. Uh, by using drones, and they're going to do that around the world. So we'll be hearing more about that sort of topic. Sounds good. A news item for all you wine lovers out there, a winery in Canada will begin using UES for a variety of operations, including monitoring grapes and delivering gifts to people visiting the vineyards. The UES will check the irrigation for diseases as well as the condition of grapes. How long will it take to get up there, do you think? Hopefully not too <laughs> to long. check it out. <laughs> The U.S. Army says four companies will compete for $100 million worth of contracts under the Future Tactical UAS program. Uh, they'll be flying for about three years while the Army evaluates the systems, and the companies are Textron, Arcturus, Martin UAV, and L3 Technologies. The last item for me, in Mendocino County, California, a UAS recently helped inform the decision-making of firefighters that were battling a blaze. The Mendocino County doesn't have a helicopter asset unit to assist them with aerial operations, so the UAS are especially helpful. And the UAS will be used for a variety of operations throughout the county, including helping assist the DA's investigators, as well as helping local first responders as well. Sounds like they'll keep it busy. The last thing for me, certainly not least, the FAA has made it easier for drone hobbyists to fly near airports and get instant approval to fly using the Lance system. So usually you hear about not flying near an airport, but in this instance it allows you to do that and get instant approval as long as you're abiding by the rules, staying below 400 feet and that sort of thing. Um, there are a variety of providers, but DGI is recommending one put forth by Kitty Hawk. So all these links are below as always, and we look forward to seeing you again next week.